guys, so I just want to show you what's inside of the box. Um, again, it's the L'Oreal R57 uh, Cherry Crush. You'll be needing your, um, it's a one, two, and the good thing, it comes in steps. So that's a good thing. Um, you also need your, uh, this is another step right here. And all this is actually directions inside of the um, instructions. Instructions are perfect. They did them really, really well. Um, and I got this over here. This is the shampoo and conditioner. They say that you're supposed to shampoo and condition afterwards. Um, when I do my locks, though, y'all, um, I might put conditioner on them and I might not because y'all know I don't really put conditioner on my hair. But once you dye your hair, it's a whole, a whole different ball game. So I might wind up doing that just to make sure as well that I get all of the color out. They do give you some nice looking black gloves, which is beautiful because back in the day, they did not give you no black gloves. I got some aluminum foil over there and I also got my hefty bags over there um, and I got everything laid out i got my vaseline because you're going to put your vaseline all on your ears and all that good stuff so that's it just want to tell you real quick and i'll come back with another video to show you guys how to do it okay okay guys i'm going to show you how i'm going to dye my hair make sure you watch part two for all the information as well okay so we just go ahead and take out all these little pieces where i know i'm going to be um doing my lot so make sure again you don't have no uh jewelry or anything on your locks when you are washing them or when you are um dying them and what i decided to do guys i'm just doing some of them i'm not doing all my locks i'm one of them ones that i only like kind of like a couple of my locks done i changed my mind a lot um i don't like to do my root um again i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna be doing And the rest I'll be putting up. And I want something, guys, the color that I'm using, I don't want it to be all bold or nothing like that. So that's why you don't have to bleach. And I'm not into bleaching anyway, y'all, like at all. So I know a couple of people was asking me, do I bleach my hair before I do it? Never. Even back in the day when I had my natural hair, to me, bleaching is just setting yourself up for failure, especially, especially when it comes to locks, because it can really damage your locks. I'm not saying everybody, y'all, so please don't put below, you know, I'm talking about a good bit of people, including myself. I know my hair cannot handle all that bleaching and stuff. So no, you can dye your hair without bleaching it as well. Okay, so we'll just put it up. I want to make sure I put all my hair up. This is going to be the hair that I'm not going to be touching. I like to close my eyes too, y'all. <clears throat> So I'm going to go ahead and get my hair up, which is already up. Just get you a nice, that's the good thing too, y'all, about having locks. It's so easy to get your hair up, like super easy. But to make sure it don't fall, y'all, I love to use my pony bands. Love, love, love pony bands. And you're probably like, what are pony bands? These are pony bands. You don't have to worry about your hair breaking or anything like that. Because some rubber bands, y'all, can really break your hair. You really got to be careful and what rubber bands you use, especially when you have lock. I do love these rubber bands, y'all, just for styling. Um, this is when you braid hair and the hair has a rubber band in it. When I say those rubber bands are the best, the best. Okay, so this I was doing a peekaboo, just the few in the back. That's how I like to do it. I like to be able to hide my color. I want to have color, but I don't want it to be all prevalent and show so much. Cause like I told you guys, I change so much. Like <laughs> And I don't need no crazy color. So I'm going to go ahead again, take that off. Make sure I love, make sure I got the ones out that I want to be out. All of them. Okay, now what I'm going to do, y'all, <clears throat> get a rubber band and get this out the way. Now, you know, some people dye all day locks. I've just never been one of them ones. I love to have my um, ends dyed. I like that ombre effect look. And like I told you in the other video, if you watched it, my grays are grand. So soon, y'all, I will have to decide <laughs> on what I'm going to do with my root. But till for, for now, I'm going to just keep doing what I do. So we'll go ahead and dye those ends too. Again, this is the dye I'm using. Again, there's a part one. So please watch part one because it has a lot of information in it, okay? Part one has a good information as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and 
Um, you should have read the instructions because we talked about it in part one. Go ahead and add, <clears throat> we'll add this, this, and this to that number two. Okay, so go ahead and do that. The thing that I liked about the adore, like I was telling you guys, I like the fact that I did not have to add all these extra stuff. Like you feel like a chemist um, <laughs> with some dyes, but it's not hard, but I'm just saying. Kind of like just like with some perms. Some perms you could just go straight in and use and some of them you got to go through all this extra. Put this in here and I'll be right back. You're going to need a little scissors for this one. Yep, I had to cut the tip with some scissors. Oh, and this smells so good. And another thing I forgot to tell you guys what I like to do too, just go ahead and leave it in your ponytails and make sure you put them right where it goes because that is where I'm going to put all the dye. So make sure they're right even. And I'm going to keep these in a the ponytail too. And I'm going to just go ahead and just dip them right in. Um, not dip them in, but you know, just put dye on them and that makes it so much easier. And if you want, like I told you guys, you can put a ponytail right where you don't want to go past because I don't want to dye through the whole thing just on some of Y'all, we are not... Um, getting dye on everything. We've been very putting all the stuff back in here. We've been very gentle. Um, be don't have dye on everything. We are not getting dye on everything. We're cleaning up as we go. Okay, I'm stressing that guys because it can get really ugly if you don't pay attention and when you're using this dye. Okay, so now I got everything in here. Now it's time for me to put my um, put this right back on there. And shake it up put it right back on there and shake it out really good but now it's time for me to put my gloves on okay so put your gloves on also go ahead and put that vaseline you go put the vaseline on your forehead uh, you also going to put the vaseline on your ears on your face wherever you don't want the dye dying because i'm telling you that's the worst when you dye hair and you got dye everywhere and another thing that is horrible is when you got blotchy dye make sure that you know what you're doing when it comes to locks locks you got to kind of like put the dye in like a sponge like kind of sponge like this and you got to take your time because if not i'm telling you they're going to be blotchy and you know what i mean by blotchy is is like one color or not a color it don't go deep in there you got to penetrate it in there if you don't know blotchy me google it so you can see the examples of what i'm saying so again, I'm just putting Vaseline on myself. Make sure you are being careful. We are not getting a bunch of crap everywhere, okay? And we have our aluminum foil. We got our hefty bags. And again, you would have seen that in the other video, but I want to make sure you guys know that. And I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing with that in the, um, in the meantime. I'm going to show you these cute little gloves that we got. Because I got gloves, but they supplied some pretty cute gloves. So that was cool. You don't get black too often. As you think, it's always that plastic, very cheap con. Okay. So now, y'all, we're going to just take this up and just shake it. Give it a good shake. Again, read the back of the instructions. Go in for real, for real. You got to read the back of the instructions, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get this shaken up so you don't got to watch me shake it up. And I'll be back. And again, put that lid, that tippy on there. So it won't get everywhere. Put that tip back on and shake it. Okay, guys, um, go ahead and get your paper towels out. So just in case you might make a mess, because you will need some paper towels, you go ahead and get my aluminum foil off. And this aluminum foil is to wrap up my, I'm going to get four, I mean three. One, two, three, so I can wrap my locks up in it. Something about that heat makes it better. Also, if you want to put a blow dryer to it, that makes it better also, okay? So again, got our hefty bags, our trash bag. I'm gonna get some more paper towels because once your hand all red and stuff, it's hard to get all that other stuff. Okay, y'all, so let's try it. I'm gonna be quiet too, so just watch me, okay?
And believe it or not, guys, I keep my dye. I know a lot of people throw their dye away, but I've been keeping my door and it's still been working. I don't know about this brand, but I keep them. That brand in it, I can always go back and use it. So, box and a whole bunch of locks that you probably need to get two boxes, maybe three. I'd rather have too much than not enough. You should be able to decide on, you know, what you think about that. Always have more than not enough. And be gentle. See what I just did? I wasn't gentle. And see, that's why I told you guys, have something on that you don't really care about. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put my aluminum foil on this. I'm going to let it see what they say on the back. Let it sit. Sometimes I give it a little more extra time. Um, and I'll come back once it's time to rinse out. And I'll show you guys. Well, you know what? I'm not going to come back when it's time to rinse out. Follow directions. Get it all rinsed out. It's, go ahead and shampoo it. Put some conditioner on it. But this could be my own time using conditioner on my locks. Because I don't like to use it only when I dye it. That's when I put the conditioner on. And make sure it's all even. Because I'm telling you, um, locks you have to like kind of like this. You got to squeeze it in. Squeeze it in nice and good so you can get it all over the place. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll come back with the end result. You've seen how I did it. If this helped you, let me know. And I'm going to go ahead and put a plastic cap too on top of my hair so I don't got to worry about any dye getting on anything. And it's nice and it's clean. Okay, guys, now what I like to do is put a plastic cap on. And one thing, too, guys, I wanted to tell you. Make sure you pull your rugs up if you have any rugs. Because I almost got something on them, and I'm telling you, that would have been so horrible. So make sure you pull your rugs up, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put two caps on. So I don't got to worry about no dye getting on anything. And again, read the back of the instructions how long. I'm going to keep this on for about 40 minutes. I think they said 30, but I always let mine go over a little bit. Especially with my hair being natural and stuff, um, I'm able to do that. But if you have chemical in your hair, you know you most definitely want to stick with what they tell you. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. See you in 40 minutes. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, get it all rinsed out. I do it in the sink. I'm sorry, I do it in the tub very gently. Don't get dye everywhere. Um, and then I will put my um, shampoo and then condition it and I'll come back with the end results. Okay. And remember again, go ahead and use these right here. Okay. Um, I got dyed just on a little bit of stuff and I think that was kind of when I was trying to record and I kind of flung it a little bit, but it was like so small, like so small. So the more I do this, the better I get. I'm excited. I got only dye, which is the trash can. It's supposed to be on here anyway. This is for excess. I had no dye on nothing. So I did good, y'all. So let me know below, guys. How did you do? Did you get dye on anything? Comment below. Okay, let's go ahead and leave this in. And I'll come back, guys. Like I said, once it's completely done, you got to go ahead and follow up with your shampoo, your conditioner, and we'll come back with our results. Subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe now. I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff cleaned up. You know as well as I when I cook, as well as I do hair, we clean up as we go, okay? That is like a really pretty wine cup. Now you really can see it. Let me turn it down a bit. Why don't talk my girl's trip? We doing a cabin. <laughs> got me some peekaboo color. And as y'all know, I just um got the eight years lock. So I just wanted something new. And like I said, I'm gonna rinse it out here, guys. And then when I get in the shower, my um shampoo and conditions. Gotta treat it just a little bit different. Okay, guys. Okay, hopefully that helps you. If that helps you, please go ahead and put A, B below. What that means is added value. I added some value to your whatever you already knew. Okay, I added some value. All right, comment below. And subscribe. Yeah, 
pretty color. Oh, look at that pretty color. Like I said, it's like a J99. Very pretty. Very subtle, too. But not too much. I love what this dye did. If you're looking for a bright red, you may possibly um, want to try. There's a bright red dye out there that they have by L'Oreal and it says specifically for dark hair uh, for red and that works perfect 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 too this is exactly what I want I didn't want it too bright just settle and then when you get in the sun I'm telling you really go see it especially once it dry see how pretty that is look at that hey guys I hope all is well so I wanted to try to do it in the sun so you can kind of see it in the sun you can only see the red hint in the sun which to be honest with you is a good thing for me because i don't know if you know me but i'm very ocd and i don't like all that uh bright stuff uh, for too long so i was hoping um it was something not too bright but it's very subtle like i said we having a cloudy day today you can't really tell but if you just like really seeing it in the sun it's a very gorgeous 99j color so if you're used to the 99j you most definitely want to try it out Maybe I could be able to get some pictures eventually. I can't see it, but it's cute, guys. So I just want to tell you the results. Um, if you're really looking for more red stuff, you most definitely want to probably go with another dye. I know there's another brand out there that's really, really red, um, and you don't have to bleach your hair either. So try that. Um, I forgot what dye it is. I know it's by L'Oreal, but um, again, I'm going to give this dye a seven and the reason why i'm good at seven i'm gonna say seven and a half because it's a very gorgeous gorgeous uh uh burgundy with black so if you're looking for a cute burgundy this most definitely is the color for you okay don't forget to subscribe for more and comment below <laughs> have you ever got your hair dyed and you was looking for a certain color and you found out it was not the color that you was going for